Welcome to Dollars in Data. This video takes a quick look at a white paper that has been deployed to Microsoft's TechNet Gallery. So here's the uh, site on which you would land. Uh, the actual URL is going to be provided at the bottom of this video within its description. So please take a look there for the precise link that's needed to get to this PDF. We'll scan down through this a little bit. You'll see that uh, I'll admit that it's hard to think about self-service BI nowadays without also thinking about Power BI and DAX and tabular models. My bias, however, is towards using uh, SSAS multidimensional in the back end along with MDX. And here's a, a few reasons that are offered for that. We'll take a look at the table of contents. Now I'll just scan through this so that you can see some of the details and the sections and subsections. But we'll quickly come up and hit some of the highlights here. So the first thing to point out is the target audience for this paper. And the target audience are those people already familiar with SSAS, we assume, from a modeling perspective. What's now needed is to appreciate MDX and MDX expressions specifically and their role in uh, uh, putting together a self-service BI solution that relies on Excel or a similar client in which you have very limited control over the MDX queries that are being generated. And then we take a more holistic view at MDX in general and compare it to SQL. Uh, I think there is a number of comparisons that can be made. And the purpose in doing that would not just to come up with pithy statements such as, is MDX hard, yes or no? but it's really to provide a, a, a proper set of expectations around MDX. I think if you come into MDX thinking that it's easy, and it can be powerful uh, out of the box with a select few functions, but in order to make it work with self-service BI and Excel, it's not necessarily going to be easy. There are a number of concepts that you've got to get familiar with, and there can be a steep learning curve as shown here and as evidenced within this uh, quote, for example, one of many that you can pull from Microsoft employees within the SSAS program. And moving on, uh, we take a look at current context. That's a very chief concern within this paper. Uh, it's been discussed uh, elsewhere in other books, for example, but uh, not enough, I believe, uh, especially when you have to deal with self-service BI. So much of the demo code res resolves around, or revolves around, I should say, uh, current context. And moving along, and again taking a uh, large holistic view at MDX's role within the IT landscape, uh, we appreciate the fact that MDX is a standard that, that can be used with other vendor software, other OLAP servers, whereas DAX is something that's limited to Microsoft at this point. Next, I would uh, point out that we take a look at IDEs. So uh, SSMS can certainly be used to develop uh, MDX queries and expressions, but MDX Studio offers some distinct uh, added value that's dis discussed here within this section. And then finally, uh, down here at the bottom, we come back to, I would argue, setting expectations with understanding and appreciating MDX's syntax and its quirks and its foibles. So that's a quick look at the paper. I hope you're able to pull this down and get something out of it. And uh, thank you again for visiting Dollars and Data.